the major changes Governor Ron DeSantis wants to make to higher education throughout Florida. We don't want students to go through at taxpayer expense and graduate with a degree in zombie studies. Governor Ron DeSantis in Sarasota laying out changes for public universities and colleges, including cutting funding for diversity, equity, and inclusion programs, as well as new curriculum requirements, he says will be rooted in the values of liberty and Western tradition. Critics already blasting the idea as political dogma. As Governor DeSantis cries about indoctrination, He's preaching his own political perspective to be in our classrooms. Mr. DeSantis' plan also calls for strengthening the hiring power of university presidents, 100 million for recruitment and retention at state universities, and opening faculty to post-tenure review at any time. And in the Bay Area, new changes in the leadership at New College of Florida in Sarasota, despite pushback. Our school, our home. Action News reporter Julie Solomon shows us why some believe what's happening here will set the tone for the rest of the state. Another shakeup Tuesday night at New College of Florida. The college's board of trustees voted to terminate the contract of President Patricia Oker. You cannot ask me to go forward and argue that we are indoctrinating students here. I do not believe it. I understand there's difference of opinion about that. The Board of Trustees moving forward, voting to enter into discussions to make former Florida House Speaker and former Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran the college's next interim president, effective March 1st. The firing of the president comes just weeks after Governor Ron DeSantis appointed six new conservative trustees. There are some people that think you have a right to have taxpayer institutions with no accountability, that they should just be able to do whatever they want. Uh, that is not happening here in the state of Florida. We're going to hold people accountable. The Sarasota School, founded in 1960, has an enrollment of just under 700 students. The college has been known for its progressive thought and creative courses where traditional grades are not used. Parents say it has been a safe place for their child. It seems many of the students that come here have determined that they don't necessarily fit into other schools. They embrace their differences. Educators, students, and parents spoke out at the meeting during public comment, furious over the governor's changes. He and his classmates have done nothing to deserve the type of disruption that is currently happening to their education. A spokesperson for the governor's office says the new trustees are committed to refocusing the institution on academics, and the college has been, quote, completely captured by a political ideology that puts trendy truth relative concepts above learning. A spokesperson for the governor also pointing out that new college is falling short on its stated enrollment goal of 1200 students. Instead, enrollment is declining. The next board meeting is scheduled for February. Reporting in Sarasota, Julie Salomon, ABC Action News.